Good evening, River City Church family and friends. I'm Pastor Jared Furnish, and I just want to welcome you to our Christmas Eve special. Wherever you are, if you'd like, I encourage you to turn down the lights, maybe light a few candles, sing along with us, and celebrate together Christ's light being birthed into this world. <laughs> light broke through the darkness. The Lord continued and made all the land, stars, creatures, plants, animals, and finally people. The first man and woman. They beheld the Lord and lived in his light. It was so good. Creator and creation together. The Lord made all people with the will to choose between his life and the darkness. Not the glorious night, but darkness that comes from sin. An overwhelming darkness that separates and ushers in death. With a bite, the choice was made. Humanity fell from God's grace and descended into darkness. This darkness covered all of creation, and death walked the earth freely. The man and woman felt shame and loss for the first time. Suffering became part of life for all. But a promise was made, one would come to defeat the darkness. As time passed, flickers of light came and went, as God found those who were faithful to him. He whispered to them his plan to save them. The virgin will conceive and give birth. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. They whispered the words to each other over the centuries as they waited for the light to come.
The light came, not as in the beginning, but in secret, hidden inside the womb of a virgin. God was sending his great gift in the form of a tiny baby. After centuries of waiting, all creation could now count the days and then hours until he would arrive. A long journey to Bethlehem was made, fulfilling the prophecy that he would be born there. With a cry, Jesus was born, mother and baby crying into the night. The light shone in the darkness, and the darkness couldn't overpower it. In a field nearby, the light of God filled the night skies, and angels proclaimed the Savior had arrived. Glory to God in the highest. He's here. You will find him lying in a manger. The shepherds ran to where the baby Jesus lie in a manger. They beheld Emmanuel, God with us, and saw the promised one was finally here. Far above, another light drew men from the east. The light led them to the infant Jesus, and they too basked in his light. For this light was for all people. He would end the darkness and give hope to all of creation. Oh, 
As the babe grew, he fulfilled all he had been born to do. He healed, he taught, and he suffered and died for all. Through him, the power of darkness was broken forever. Death had lost its sting. But this was not the end. This light was not merely contained in Jesus. It was for all. It was meant to be shared to the ends of the earth for all people. So all may know the light. The Savior had come to free them from the darkness. want to thank you all for being with us this evening. On behalf of our River City Church family and staff, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Go in God's peace and His blessings upon you. Mm -hmm.